Um, hello everyone, this is Group H doing location decisions for Jaguar Land Rover. In this presentation we will analyze location decisions through both supply and demand side factors. An operation should only change its location if the benefits of moving out weigh the cost of operating in the new location plus the cost of the move itself. For many businesses, getting the right location can make the difference between success and failure. For a shop, a factory, or even an online company, the localization decision is a tricky thing and could affect all the businesses. In a world where globalization is occurring more and more, the decision is becoming increasingly important. Jaguar Cars is a brand of Jaguar Land Rover, a British multinational car manufacturer headquartered in Coventry and owned by the Indian company Tata Motors since 2008. In October 2014, Jaguar has opened it, its first plant in China. It has a planned production capacity of 130,000 cars during its first year. The high quality of the labor force is due to the emergence of the Chinese higher education, but whilst labor used to be really cheap in China, in recent years the trend has been towards increasing wage levels, which, is, which in turn increases business costs. But also the quality of the machinery is, in, is as efficient in China as in the UK. However, it is cheaper due to a closer location of the primary resources, hence lower transportation costs. Whilst land in Changchu isn't cheap, it is far less expensive than in nearby Shanghai, which is now massively overdeveloped and thus has incredibly high land costs. Land in the Changshu Economic Development Zone is subsidised by the government and local authorities, making it a more attractive location. In China, there is a geographical mismatch between the location of the coal fields in the north and north. Hydropower is located in the southeast, but Changshu is in the east, therefore transporting energy can be an issue. The Chinese government has both subsidised the price of oil and set the price of electricity for the next three years. This means that price will be constant and will give more stability to the Jaguar Land Rover operation. Also, the steady price of oil means that the demand will stay constant as well. By collab collaborating with Sherry, a Chinese auto manufacturer, Jaguar Land Rover reduced the cost of their imports as tariff costs are much lower for Chinese corporations. Jaguar Land Rover also chooses cost-efficient methods of transporting their goods within China as their use of boats to get their products from Shanghai to Changshu reduces costs by around 20%. In the future, Jaguar Land Rover are looking to build an engine factory alongside the car factory, which will further reduce their need for imports and as a consequence further decrease their transportation costs. The supply chain for the Changshu factory is very far reaching. Car parts are shipped from the UK to Shanghai on a ferry and then placed on another boat up the Yangtze River to Changshu, a trip which in total takes nine weeks. Other more locally sourced resources are collected through a milk run method. This means that instead of each individual supplier sending weekly trucks to the factory, one truck is sent out daily which collects a day's worth of goods from all the different suppliers in one trip. This system, along with the fact that the factory operates at a very low inventory level, has only one week's worth of emergency supplies on site, are ideas borrowed from lean management theory which was successfully utilised by Toyota beforehand. The change of the tax system is going to have a beneficial impact on Jaguar Land Rover. Indeed, the amount of tax which a manufacturer will have to pay will decline from 70% to 3%. On the other hand, the customer will have to pay more taxes. This measure will decrease the manufacturing costs, but the consuming costs will be increased in balance. Uh, the amount of foreign indirect investment in China is increasing at a very fast pace. That implies that not only China is an emerging market full of opportunity, but also that China is becoming more welcoming to foreigner investor, investors. Uh, there are some signs of a coming back to a protectionist policy in China, which could affect uh, Jaguar Land Rover over the long term. Also, China suffers from widespread corruption. This country is as corrupted as Algeria, Colombia or Egypt, for instance. This could jeopardize the willingness of Jaguar to invest heavily in China over the long term. 
For language and social factors, in 2012, China has overtaken the United Kingdom as Jaguar Land Rover's biggest market. Indeed, over 80% of Jaguar Land Rover's sales are to overseas markets. Also, we know that the Chinese demand for luxury brand has increased and that in 2013, 300 mil millions of Chinese were considered to be part of the middle class. The country is considered as an emerging market for the automotive ma manufacturer. Jagger Land Rover stated that being in China will enable the company to build vehicles spe specifically designed for the Chinese market. In other terms, it is changing a product or service to meet the specific requirements of customers in a different geographic location. Many Chinese consumers are happy to buy existing Jaguar Land Rover models, shipping directly into China from the United Kingdom-based factories. Finally and unfortunately, there is a high risk of misunderstandings. Indeed, drawings of products and processes were often not immediately immediately for use without further translation, even with the instru instruction sheet, as there isn't a smooth communication between China and head United Kingdom office. These figures show how important China is becoming for Jaguar and Rover. There are over 60 million people within a half a one and a half hour radius of Changshi. This access to so many potential workers, both skilled and unskilled, means that it's a very attractive location to build a factory. Also, with the current trend of more and more Chinese people attaining higher levels of education, these workers will become more productive, making them more valuable to Jaguar Land Rover. Being in the Changshu Economic Development Zone has many positives for Jaguar Land Rover. Ready-made access to all necessary utilities eliminates any potential setup costs, and also its close proximity to so many different methods of transport make it ideal for the movement of goods and resources. The main Jaguar factory in Changshu is in central location compared to the main Chinese markets. Also, Shei, who Jaguar Land Rover are in partnership with, have around 150 dealerships in the largest cities in China. This gives Jaguar and Land Rover easy access to most of the Chinese population. David and Victoria Beckham are the face of Jaguar and Land Rover brand in China. As they are incredibly popular, this could be driving force behind the increase in demand. As we have described, setting up their factory in Changshu may not have been the optimal location if Jaguar Land Rover's aim was to produce cars at the lowest possible cost. There is currently cheaper labour available in nearby countries, and with the ever-growing insistence for higher wages in China, this disparity is likely to grow even further. The cost of land is cheaper in Changshu than nearby overdeveloped Shanghai. However, China is such a vast country that there are massive expanses of land available for cheaper than in the Changshu Economic Development Zone. For example, there are smaller cities and landscapes in the northeast of China close to the energy sources that would decrease both the land and energy costs incurred by the factory. For these reasons, it is clear that cost is not Jaguar's primary concern, and this is perhaps to be expected from a luxury car manufacturer. Instead, through these given examples of where the Jaguar factories are located in comparison to the main target markets, it is clear that Jaguar's location decisions are based much more on the location of their sites relative to demand and to the availability of skilled labour than to cost. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation.